Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can create solid glass, uh, chrome, copper and rubber. But before we get into that, um, the other day I reached the uh, 100 subscriber mark and uh, considering this is a fairly new channel, I'm really really pleased with that and I want to give a big thank you to my subscribers. So uh, let that be said. All right. Now let's get to the tutorial. Now in order to demonstrate these materials I'm just going to create a fairly simple object something like a, you know an arm bracelet or something like that uh, so that we can uh, apply the materials. So I'm going to start off on my polygons menu and I'm going to uh, create this uh, torus here and we're just going to drag that out in the grid and I'm going to hit control A go to my attribute editor um, control A, there we go. And I'm going to make sure that my subdivisions are nice and high so I get a nice smooth surface. So I'm going to make that 40. I'm going to make that 40. All right. Now maybe we can make it a little bit thinner. So we'll just see about that. We'll make that 0 0.02. 30, no, 50, still pretty small, 0 0.20, let's see what that looks like, now we're getting closer, 0 0.50, okay, 40, that's good, okay, now we're going to create a sphere, we're just going to drag that out in the grid, and again, I want to make that nice and smooth, so I'm going to go to my polysphere 1, and increase subdivisions to 40 by 40. I'm just going to quickly position that in the right place. So I'm going to go to my top view, select that, hit W, pull that down, just hit F to zoom in. Make sure that we're roughly in the middle, something like that. Okay. And again, you know, the purpose is to demonstrate the material, so that's not too drastically important. All right. Now that we've got that, um, we're going to create some uh, cylinders here. Just going to drag that out on the grid, pull it up a little bit, hit F to zoom in. All right. Five for shaded mode. We're going to bump those divisions up as well. Let's do 60, and I'm just going to bevel the edges. So right-click on your object, go to Edge, click, and Shift double-click, click, Shift double-click, go to Edit Mesh, Bevel, and let's see, we'll do two segments, and let's see about the offset. Uh, make it nice and round, something like that, 0 0.7 roughly. All right, right-click on it, go to object mode, select that. We're going to hit E to rotate it. Make sure you're at 90 degrees, so I'm just going to check that quickly. Yep, 90 degrees. And again, we're going to position that. Now I want this to move, so hit W. Move down to about there, then move it over a little bit, hit Control D, move it over to the other side, hit F to zoom in a little bit, and let's clean that up, that one, and that one, something like that. And now we're going to go up here to the top and we're just going to cut out a couple of sections so right click go to face mode and I'm going to select these four and I'm going to hit delete like that I'm going to create a polygon sphere pull it out something like that make sure I got enough uh, subdivisions on that we'll do 40 and 40 
and I want that on the end of these two pipes here. So I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to select it and I'm going to start to position that. That looks fairly okay. Control D, pull that over, something like that. Let's see how the other views are looking. Yeah, it looks okay. Okay, so now that we got that, we can start to apply some materials, all right? So, we're going to right-click, go to object mode. I'm going to select that first. Now, I want that to be black rubber. So, I'm going to right-click on my object, assign new material. I'm going to go into the MIA underscore material underscore X. I'm going to go to my material tab in the attribute editor, like so. Go to my presets, go down to rubber, and go to... Oh, go to replace like that okay now <clears throat> excuse me i want these two little spheres here to be um, chrome so right click on that assign new material i'm going to go with the same material but use a different preset go to presets go to chrome hit replace like so then I'm going to select these two rings here, right click, assign the material, and okay, you guessed it, another preset. So we're going to go with the MIA material, go to presets, solid glass, and replace. And finally, this sphere, we're going to use a preset for uh, copper. So assign new material, select the same material. Go to Presets, Copper, and Replace. Now, we're going to quickly set up this scene for lighting so we can see the effect. So I'm going to drag select the whole thing, go to Mesh, and Combine. So now it's one object. Hit W, pull it up a bit. We're going to... Sorry about that. We're going to create a ground plane. We're going to drag that out. So hit R, scale that out quite a bit. Right click on it, go to assign new material. I'm going to use a Fong E for this. And I'm going to change the color in the attribute editor to white, like so. I'm going to create a couple of quick lights. So go to create lights, point light, hit W, pull that up, pull that out. And then from our top view, we're going to position the lights. Just hit F to zoom in. Okay, so we've got one there. I'm going to hit Control D and duplicate that light to about here. And then I'm going to shift select both of them. Go to my point light shape tab in the attribute editor. Go down to shadows and click on use depth map shadows like so. All right. Now, to see the effect of the material that we used, we need to make sure that our render settings are correct. So let's say this is the right angle, okay? Now remember, this here is chrome, this is black rubber, this is solid glass, and this is copper. So we're gonna go to our render settings, and we absolutely have to select mental ray. The reason is that the MIA underscore material is a mental ray material. If we select anything else, it's not going to show up. So select mental ray. Then I'm going to go to my quality tab. In my case, considering I'm using Maya 2014, this may look a little bit different in your setup. If you got anything prior to 2014, you can go and select uh, production quality. I'll just bump this up to about one, roughly. And in my common tab, I'm going to go down and I'm going to change that to HD 720, like so. So now we're ready to render. This typically will take a little time, so I'm going to hit render and hit pause while it renders out, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second.
All right, and there we go. That's the end result of the render. As you can see, we got the black rubber material on the, uh, the bracelet here. We got the chrome uh, spheres at the end. This is our uh, our copper uh, sphere, and this is the solid glass. Now uh, you can use this obviously for all types of uh, objects when you're modeling those, but this is just a quick example of how to use these presets. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.